A great chocolate showdown, 10 home bakers set out. Get your chocolate on. On a decadent journey. Going into game mode. Woo! Learning new chocolate techniques. I have not done this before. And uncovering their true baking talents. Let's do this. Mmm, gorgeous. This is where I get to have fun. Along the way, there were thrills. Mm, that was exceptional. Nailed it. What? Chills. So cold. It's so cold. I froze it. Oops. And spills. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh. And one by one. Craig. Katie. Andrew. Trinity. Fadi. Kathy. Vanessa. Were eliminated from the competition. Now, only three bakers remain. Mom and high school teacher Casey had a rocky start. My dessert is melting before my eyes. Casey's in trouble right now. Ow, 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 ow. I was expecting a little bit more. But her confidence improved along with her whimsical creations. This is playful and fun and sweet. Now she hopes her imagination will take her to the top. I just want to go bake and I want to win this thing. Lovely. Art teacher and makeup artist Renu struggled in the elimination challenges. Oh, oh my goodness. This is like one big hot mess. Yet excelled in technique tests. This is my wheelhouse. It's brilliant. Now she dreams her sculptural skills will help her tower over the others. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to win. Sweet. And circus performer T brought his bold creativity to the kitchen. Circus magic. He struggled with plating in the beginning. My six-year-old daughter can do a plate presentation better than that. But grew as a baker with each challenge. My goodness, have you not come a long way? Will his fearless approach crown him the winner? Yeah. I know I have what it takes to win. <laughs> like, hello. It's down to the high school teacher versus the artist versus the circus performer. Making my dreams come true. As they vie for sweet success and $50,000. I want this so bad. It's the finale. To anybody's game at this point. Anybody's. Of Great Chocolate Showdown. It's crunch time. Woo. When I first baked on Great Chocolate Showdown, I was a disaster. My skills as a baker now are much improved. I'm ready for this. I honestly thought maybe I would come here and be told, yeah, your baking is good, but it's like good for a kid's birthday party. And now I'm in the finale. <laughs> I baked in every single challenge because I never had immunity, but I just think that's so much experience. And that's why I'm going to become Great Chocolate Showdown Champion. Congratulations to the three of you on making it to the finale of Great Chocolate Showdown. And now it's time to take on the biggest chocolate challenge of your lives. One final bake and one of you will be crowned Great Chocolate Showdown Champion and take home the grand prize of $50,000. Oh, God. For your final challenge, we want you to make every chocolate lover's dream come true by creating a chocolate bake shop. Each of you will fill your own bake shop display with a collection of stunning chocolate desserts. We're looking for one grand eye-catching centerpiece, a batch of six uniform chocolate confections, a set of chocolate bonbons, and for your final piece, you'll be taking a trip down memory lane. One dessert in your bake shop? will be inspired by the first dessert you ever served us. Remember that? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Trying to get four different chocolate confections finished is a big ask. It sounds like a tall order, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Well, don't worry. You won't have to work alone. You will each have your very own bake shop assistant. We get an assistant? Please welcome back Vanessa, Fatty, and Kathy. Oh. Ah! Shut up! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. They're just a complete joy to see. Fatty. <laughs> I want any of them. They are all so good. I'm so excited. I miss them. I love them. They're the best.
To find out who your bake shop assistant will be, please come up and choose a chocolate bar. Casey. This one. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know Fatty is a super talented baker. I thought he was gonna make it into the top three. T, it's your turn. Kathy, I am overjoyed. She is such a great person and an amazing baker. Vanessa, please go join Renu. When the two of us were paired up together last time, we made a spectacle cake that blew the judges' minds. It's gonna be great. The pantry is filled with the finest ingredients you need to bring your desserts to life. You have five hours to complete your bake shop window display. Ready? Steady? Get your sweet on! Cocoa powder. For my chocolate bake shop, I am going with flavors that are traditional to my family, and then aesthetics that came from my art school background. For my chocolate bake shop display, I am making a cookies and milk white chocolate cheesecake, a carrot caramel pie bonbon, a strawberry chocolate mousse palette, and a coconut macaroon sketch cake. I was never into sports, so my parents bought all these art supplies. Art has definitely made me who I am today. Are you happy to be back, Aaliyah? I'm so happy to be back. Did you get cream? You did, right? Yep, okay. cream's right here. And I need to get some chocolate going. The theme of my chocolate bake shop is structural elegance. Good, crisp, classy kind of feel. Gold, white, clean, fresh. Because I'm a sculptor, I'm all about shapes, texture, size, proportions, but I have never made a chocolate sculpture. I've always wanted to make one. I'm pretty excited. For this chocolate bake shop, I am going to make passion fruit tarts with a white chocolate mousse, raspberry crunch bonbons. I'm gonna make a cardamom pistachio redemption cake and a large chocolate showpiece that is going to hold profiteroles. Paddle attachment? Yes, please. Butter room temperature? Yes, please. Vanessa's the whirlwind of activity. So I'm gonna have to speed it up. <laughs> the theme to my bake shop is Baroque European circus meets quaint but adorable French patisserie. For my chocolate bake shop, I am making a series of six entremets filled with tropical layers, a set of pineapple yuzu caramel bonbons, my first bake ever redone, the blood orange tart and a ruby raspberry lime ganache macaron tower. This bake shop is named Cirque de Souffle. Magic. Do you want me to make the passion fruit curd? Yes, please. For the six matching confections, I am going to make passion fruit curd tarts. It's just starting to thicken. It just needs to be like really thick. It's going to have a cocoa tart shell and then topped with a white chocolate mousse. Precision, precise, they're beautiful, just like you. Okay, have fun in there. I'm going to make a series of six entremets with a passion fruit gelée in the center and then surrounded by a white chocolate mousse. Hello, T. Hi, Chef Anna. So this is your... This is the second layer of our entremet, a white chocolate mousse. Now, in building this entremet style, this mm -hmm. is all about hiding things within other layers yes. so that when you cut into it, it reveals multiple parts. And what are the flavors you have going We in? have a passion fruit jelly center mm -hmm. going into a white chocolate mousse, going into a mango dark chocolate ganache, and then we have the mirror glaze on top. Well, thank you very much, T. <laughs> I am going to start the cheesecake. Okay. For my six matching Bake Shop desserts, I've decided to do a play on cookies and milk. So what it is is a white chocolate cheesecake with a chocolate chip cookie topping. I like a softer cookie. My husband likes a little bit more of a crunch. My daughter, Sydney, is now 14 months old. I am competing in this competition to prove to myself that I'm good enough. I'm also in this competition to prove to my daughter that she can do anything. I do have anxiety, and I never thought I would be able to do anything like this. And here I am in the finale. I am here to win. Ha! Okay. For the six matching confections, Vanessa has made the white chocolate mousse half spheres. I put them together to create a sphere. It's my happy place. And then spray them with velvet cocoa butter spray to create some visual interest on top of the passion fruit curd. 
I have a lot of passions. Chocolate, sculpture, art, teaching. I would tell my students, follow the things you love, follow your passions, and you could possibly win $50,000 for doing it. The balls are spray painted and look beautiful. Okay, hey, entremets are in. These the cooking taste like home and like awesome. Excellent. For my cheesecake filling, I'm mixing in some melted white chocolate. That looks really good. Oh my God. While Fatty is tempering white chocolate, I'm starting to make the little drips that will go on top of my milk and cookies. It's like a splash of milk. But I'm noticing they're not setting up as much as they should be. This is... Is it out of temper? Feel it. It just bends. There's no snap. Oh yeah, that's not setting right. Nope. Which means they're not in temper. I just want it to be right. But time is flying by and I have so much to do. Listen to this? No, okay. Apparently. Bending white chocolate means it's not in temper. Take them off. Help me take them off. Yep. None of the white chocolate drips are going on to my dessert because I just don't have time to make more because five hours is not a lot of time to make four desserts. Everything's gonna be okay. <sighs> okay. Slow down. You got this. The final challenge is to fill up my own bake shop display. So we have to make a series of six desserts. Looks great. Okay. A set of bonbons redo the first bake we ever did in this competition, and a stunning centerpiece item in five hours. Hey, that's a lot, holy moly. Absolutely. I've finished my six matching confections. Now, I'm tempering some chocolate for my bonbon shells. Can you start the raspberry ganache to fill my bonbons? Sure. Raspberry compound. I'm going to make raspberry crunch bonbons with a raspberry ganache. I'm using my finger painting technique. Hopefully will look beautiful. For my bonbons, I'm going to use white chocolate with a carrot pie filling. I am hand painting little carrots onto my bonbon shells. <laughs> Those carrots look adorable. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. <laughs> we are in temper. Way to go, T. Tempering is my jam now. I am making a set of pineapple and yuzu caramel bonbons. Perfect color, T. Thank you. Just a bit. Now I love doing this. And now I need that to set before I can fill it with the caramel. We're doing great. Oh, it smells good. Carrot pie filling comes out of the oven. I want to cram as much of this in as possible. Okay. And putting it inside of my bonbons. Carrot flavor comes through really nicely. Oh, so good. I'm going to add dried pineapple and then flood it with my caramel. Perfect. OK, I'm making them all raspberry. I have to put the raspberry ganache in and then cap them so that all of the ganache levels in the mold. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. And it tastes great. I love the pans. I would say this is ready to cap. My chocolate's in temper, so now I can make the caps that will actually seal my filling into my bonbon. Do the flip. Ah, excellent. Magic. Can you get me a offset spatula? I want to use ruby chocolate for the cap, mostly because it's a unique little twist when you turn over the bonbon to see the back. How did that not get any chocolate on it? It's okay, it's okay. Can we pipe some in? I, well now I can't move this until that's set. Yeah. It's okay. I'm just starting to lose a little bit of my steam. There's some good ones, right? Yeah, a lot of them are good. It's gonna be delish. Are you doing the white chocolate canal? Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be on top of my redemption cake. We have to reinvent the first cake we made. I've made a coconut cardamom cake with a coconut buttercream. My first cake was raw in the center and then I used the coconut to hide imperfections. Okay, this can go into a bag. Since then, I think I've refined my skill set. So my remake is a cardamom pistachio cake with toasted coconut. It smells fantastic. I roll out the dough for the remake of my citrus tart from the first challenge. I've made for you a chocolate citrus tart. I was too ambitious and wanted to make a tart shell out of tempered chocolate. That was a very big mistake. 
because I plated a very cracked tart shell made out of semi-tempered chocolate. And then I covered it in blue sprinkles, which I will regret forever. I am making a blood orange tart with dark chocolate. I need to make sure that they're seeing growth. Can you open that oven? I just love reimagining things. I'm gonna put you on the strawberry mousse. Got it. This is a reimagining of the very first dessert I made in the Great Chocolate Showdown. It's a three layer chocolate cake with a strawberry buttercream filling and a strawberry crunch layer in there as well. It was a little bit too simple. Hello. That is certainly very different <laughs> to your original cake. Yes, yeah, so this is instead, it's a strawberry chocolate mousse, and it is going to be on a white chocolate painter's palette. Oh, wow, Casey, yep. you're staying very, very true to yourself. I'm trying. You've got this. Thank you so much. A painter's palette. It's this big wooden palette with a hole in it for your thumb, and you hold it while you take paint, and you put that paint on your canvas. Nice. Check my cakes. When I look at my redemption cake, I check how done it is. Oh yeah, they're good. They are not going to be raw again. Look at these, Vanessa. Aren't they beautiful? That would end everything for me. Okay, so coconut's in. We're gonna go four minutes. Hopefully it doesn't burn. Bakers, two hours to go. I'm having Fatty make this cookie crumble in a food processor. It's freeze-dried strawberries, melted butter, shortbread, and white sandwich cookies. This was actually something that I used inside of my very first cake. This time I'm putting it on the outside of my redemption dessert. That's it. Yep. I start piping the ganache onto the tops of my pistachio cardamom cakes. I'm going for a slow drip. It just kind of makes it halfway. Look at how beautiful the tops of these are. Ah, oh, coconut. What happened to my timer? My toasted coconut is super toasted. Oh, I didn't press start. Seriously. Okay, I'm gonna give it another shot. I have just enough coconut to do one more batch. If I don't win because I forget to set a timer, there will be no forgiving myself. My first batch of coconut for my redemption cake is super toasted. Seriously, coconut? Like, okay, I'm gonna give it another shot. While that's going on, I wanna make sure that I have a modeling technique element on the plate, and so I'm gonna model some cardamom leaves to reflect the flavors of the cakes. I check the coconut, and it looks great. I'm gonna use the coconut in a really subtle way on top of these lovely little cakes. It looks beautiful. Excellent. I'm working on my redemption dessert. My mirror glazed strawberry chocolate mousse is going to go on my artist palette, so I want to make sure they're colorful. Yes. Good. And also, I need to take my modeling chocolate and I need to form it into a paintbrush and put it on the palette with my mousse. Oh, it looks so good. I need this tart to set. I pulled my redemption tart out. Looks good. It looks like it's set. Cleaning all the excess over here. That is such a cool concept, Casey. I love this so much. I do too, it looks so, so good. So cute. Bakers, time to turn up that heat. You have one hour left. Ugh, macarons are hard. For my centerpiece, I am making a ruby raspberry lime ganache macaron tower. Macaronage, macaronage. For my centerpiece cake, I've decided to make a chocolate coconut macaroon cake. Did the cakes come out good? Oh yeah, the cakes are good. great. Yay! That's something I make every single year for Passover for my family. We are Jewish, so I identify as a mom, as an artist, as a teacher, and as a Jewish New Yorker. <laughs> How's it going over there? Good. Coconut and sweetened condensed milk. I'm having Fatty work on the coconut filling for my centerpiece cake. I know he can do it. Girl, you're just gonna be light and fluffy and delicious. Feeling on track? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, way on track. For my centerpiece, I am going to make a large chocolate showpiece that is going to hold profiteroles. Yeah, that looks great. Yep, it's leaving a skin on the bottom. That yep. looks great, yep. A profiterole is basically a shoe pastry with chocolate pastry cream. I can bake them? Yep. Okay. I am making two different color macarons for my centerpiece. 
for it. It's okay, I knew I was gonna make a mistake eventually. I forgot to add the second half of my flour and almond flour. Oh boy. I don't want to start a whole fresh batch of macarons in this timed environment, so I'm going to try to salvage this batch and keep piping the macarons. I've come back from worse. I'm hoping that this works, but we'll only know when we take them out of the oven. Okay, right, I'm putting the macarons in. I take my macaroons out of the oven. They look good. My coconut macaroon centerpiece. Cake is made, but I still need to decorate the cake. I have fatty on the coconut macaroons that will go on the cake. I would love to win. I would open a home bakery and sell my cakes. Currently, I just make cakes for a couple of cousins' birthday parties here and there and my own daughter. I would really like to do this professionally. Ah! There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to make the chocolate spheres for my huge showpiece, and that's the most important thing to me. I want to make sure those are in temper and look beautiful. Are we going to put this back in the fridge? I would love to win this competition. I'm not going to quit my job and open a bakery because I love teaching, but I want the title of Great Chocolate Showdown Champion because I want to win $50,000 so that I can renovate my kitchen to continue working on chocolate sculptures and make big sculptures in the future. Beautiful. Ooh, that's hot. Whew. I'm gonna heat the ends of some piping tips so that I can melt chocolate to create little holes in them because it adds more visual interest. Hi, Ray New. I had to come by because I saw this, and that's amazing. Thank you. From the beginning of your journey to creating your showpiece right there. Yeah. What have you learned? I mean, I've learned a lot about chocolate and kind of what it can tolerate and what it can't tolerate. You know, and even all these cutters and tools and torches, they're pretty fun to play with. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, thank you. The macarons are ready to come out. Here's my knife. When I go to take off the macaron shells from their baking sheets, I notice that some are hollow. These shells are not doing great. It's because I messed up my first batter. I'm getting really inconsistent bakes on these sheets. <sighs> these macarons might be my downfall. These shells are not doing great. I am not having a great day. If anybody can do this, it's you. <sighs> At this point, I don't have time to remake a macaron batch. Don't let it go anywhere near the edge. Right. So we're just going to pipe the ganache. I just hope the judges do not eat a hollow macaron and they only get to pick the nice filled ones because I want to win this. Winning the Great Chocolate Showdown would be so incredible. I mean, I can't leave the circus, but when I win the $50,000, I want to put it towards opening a side business of baking professionally. Bakers, 30 minutes left. All right, last 30. How are you doing? I feel the pressure now. Feeling the pressure. So I'm just cutting a hole in this sphere so that I could attach it to my other sphere so I can get some height. But it just will not melt. Uh-oh. This is a seriously thick, thick piece of chocolate. Feels like it's really deep. If I want to put the centerpiece together, I'm going to have to come up with another plan. Maybe I just make that part of the design. It's going to be a bit snowman-like. That's what we're going to do. Looks great, T. Thank you. Look at that, babe. I'm going to put this on there, and you're going to freeze it, OK? Because I'm going to put that there. Getting stressed out for my centerpiece. I quickly take my cocoa butter paints and paint sketches to go on my cake. Oh my god, I'm so happy. You should be, it looks awesome. Bakers, you have 15 minutes left to impress us. Let's go, let's do this. There's still so much to do. Uh, where's the cream? I need to get my modeling chocolate happening for my chocolate showpiece. Whew, feeling the pressure. Can I just squish it right into that? Mm -hmm. And where's that? <gasps> It's okay, it's okay. Sorry, Holy cheese and crackers. Vanessa accidentally breaks part of it. We'll make it work. Okay. Be part of the design. Tempered chocolate's amazing. It is like concrete. You can put anything together with it. Does it seem strong to you? Hold it. Strong as it's gonna be? Five minutes till showtime! Let's do this! What do you think, Renu? Oh, they're beautiful. 
the profiteroles put it out of the oven. And they look beautiful. They're goldeny brown, and I couldn't be happier. Are these looking okay for you? Yes, they're gorgeous. Bakers, one minute left. Let's go. Let's do this. Get yeah. the luster dust. Okay, great. Pink and white. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my god, I'm so close. You have the impressions? We have our bonbons finished, the macaron tower is blended, the entremets finished, and now we have a beautiful redemption tart. What more can you ask for? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time's up! Thank you, I couldn't have done it without you, seriously. Oh, my God, amazing. I am so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. I really think that this final challenge represents all aspects of me. It represents the baker, Casey. It represents the family, Casey, the artist, Casey. It looks so good. I'm so proud of my chocolate bake shop. I mean, that does not just show five hours of work. That shows this whole competition of work. We got so much done. <laughs> I feel fantastic. This is what I've been dreaming of. I've always wanted to make a chocolate sculpture, and I'm really happy with it. One of us is about to become Great Chocolate Showdown Champion. I'm so excited for the judges to see how much I've grown, to tell them my story through my baked goods, and I'm so excited for them to try everything. Casey, here we are. Here we are. The finale. I know, I can't even believe it. <laughs> I hope you feel very proud. I do. The theme is an homage to art and family. Art kind of helped me find who I was. It helped me make friends. And my parents were super supportive. The pops of color, the whimsy, the playfulness. I think if I were to walk through the door of your bake shop, you'd have to put in uncomfortable chairs <laughs> because people would stay too long. <laughs> so what are we looking at? It starts with a carrot pie and caramel bonbon. And I've hand painted, of course, some little carrots on top. The way you painted the carrot on in your mold, that was a brilliant idea. The way you designed that, it's just so fun. I love the carrot flavor inside, but initially looking at your chocolate, there's a couple inconsistencies on the side. Your carrot pie doesn't adhere to the side of the chocolate. It's time to move on to our bake shop batch. For my six matching bake shop desserts, I made a cookie and milk white chocolate cheesecake. Chocolate chip cookies is how I made all my friends in art school. <laughs> Casey, it tastes great. Your cookies are delicious. The cheesecake was nice and creamy. I liked the hits of the chocolate chips in the base and the cookie itself. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you. Next, I made a painter's palette, which is my reimagining of that very first dessert that I made for you all. So I've taken the flavors of that first cake and made strawberry and chocolate mousse, mirror glaze creations, and the whole thing is sitting on top of a white chocolate painter's palette with a modeling chocolate paintbrush. You really did capture that feel of the swirls of the paint on a painter's palette. The chocolate mousse was lovely. I love that you brought back the strawberry crumble that was part of the original dessert. It added a nice pop of flavor. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. And then finally, this is my chocolate coconut macaroon sketchbook cake. Coconut macaroons are what I make every Passover for my family, and so I've infused this cake with those flavors. Ah. I took a bite off that chocolate coconut cake and... I took a bite off that chocolate coconut cake and... 
something special happened in my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> your chocolate cake is so moist and your shredded coconut feels like real fresh coconut. These coconut macaroons were delicious, crunchy on the outside and super soft and squishy and no wonder your family loves them. <laughs> love, 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 love. <laughs> Casey, like they say, <laughs> mic drop, I'm gonna give you a fork drop. <laughs> that is good. It's been amazing to watch you go from worrying about everything and hiding behind the shield of, I'm just an art teacher and I'm just a mom, to now you're standing here full of confidence and you're also incredibly stubborn <laughs> because we have over and over said white chocolate is a bit delicate and every single time you deliver white chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that grit will see you go very, very far. Thank you. I definitely would have liked the bonbon shells to be thinner, and I'm always going to be worried how I stack up. Both T and Renu are amazing bakers. I think it's really going to be anybody's game. Hi, Renu. Hi, chefs. So tell us, what is the theme of your bake shop? The theme of my bake shop window is sort of a structural elegance. As a sculptor, I'm all about shapes, texture, size, proportions, and how everything works together. So I've taken shapes and put them together in sort of an elegant way. The textures and the hints of color that shine through really make this an appetizing bake shop window display. Thank you. What do you think? Shall oh, we try? I cannot wait. So first I've made raspberry crunch bonbons with a raspberry ganache and a little freeze dried raspberry inside. Renu, you have come a long way. I'd cut into this bonbon, and you can see the even consistency in your casting all the way around. Your ganache, I thought was beautiful. That was a nice little surprise with the freeze-dried raspberry in there. Thank you very much. For the six matching confections, I've made passion fruit curd tarts with white chocolate mousse. I thought your tart shell was lovely and thin and very evenly baked and didn't get soggy. I do love the white chocolate on top. My fear is because of the airiness of the passion fruit curd and its tartness that it's borderline dominating that white chocolate flavor, but the shape and the style, the presentation, it's a lovely combination. Thank you. My redemption cake is a cardamom pistachio cake with chocolate cardamom leaf. That little leaf, your modeling chocolate, well done. This redemption bake looks very different from the first version you did way back when. Yes, it does look very different. Let's hope this one is fully baked. It is cooked all the way through. <laughs> And I'm pleased to taste that cardamom throughout. I like the pistachio green, but the toasted coconut I found crispy. I didn't even need that crunch. Okay. For my chocolate showpiece, I made a chocolate sculpture using chocolate spheres, as well as profiteroles with chocolate pastry cream. Well, Renu, this is a showpiece with a capital S. It captures your imagination and it makes you gravitate towards it. When I look at that, I would have never thought you were capable of doing that. It shows me that you really can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. Shall we try? Indeed. It serves its function as a showpiece, but it's also meant as a vessel to have and hold a dessert, which were those little profiteroles, which were lovely little bites. The cream was nice and chocolatey. You have put together such an array of textures and flavors for us. Thank you so much. Overall, I'm pleased with what they said. I think I really stepped it up, and I'm really happy I took the risk of making a chocolate sculpture. Hi, T. Hi, judges. What is the theme of your bake shop? So the theme of my bake shop is where a Baroque European traditional circus would meet a classic French patisserie. There is a refinement to the work here. 
that is wonderful to behold. But I say, let's eat it. <laughs> so first we have my pineapple yuzu caramel bonbons with dark chocolate shells and ruby caps. T, you have made some leaps and bounds throughout this competition. Your bonbons are absolutely beautiful to look at. The fact that you use two different types of chocolate, one to cast and one to cap, is a brilliant idea. The elasticity in the caramel was unreal. Your flavor was unreal. My six entremets starts in the center with a passion fruit jelly surrounded by a white chocolate coconut mousse and a dark chocolate mango ganache around that. And the mirror glaze is tinted white chocolate and dark chocolate. Oh, it looks like an egg. What? An absolute delight. I was distracting myself earlier looking at my shiny dress on your mirror glaze. It literally is like a mirror. Your gelée is so tart and flavorful. You use just the right amount of white and dark chocolate ganache. The balance is spot on. Well done, T. Next, we have my redo of my Citrus Circus tart. I made a proper shell out of dough. I coated the inside of the tart shell with two layers of dark chocolate and then blood orange custard inside. Your tart shell is beautifully baked. It's got nice color to it. However, what I do struggle with the thickness of the tart shell, it's way beyond the ratio that it needs to be. You've now got a real handle on citrus curds. But without that amount of space to fit in more curd, we were missing that big punch of blood orange flavor. Thank you. Finally, my centerpiece, the tower of two different color macarons filled with a ruby chocolate raspberry lime ganache. Well, I don't think a French patisserie would dare open its door without a macaron tower. <laughs> Visually, this is just absolutely stunning. You had that crunch on the outside, it was chewy in the middle of it. Your ganache, I love the fact that you used ruby chocolate. Thank you for giving it your all. You got here because you deserve to be here. You're worthy finalists because you've earned it. Thank you so much. Thank you, T. Thank you. The judges love my work, and they love the journey that my work has gone on. I don't know what the other bakers got for feedback, so it's a bit of a mystery, but I just want to win. T, Renu, and Casey, in this final challenge, you pushed yourselves harder than ever to create your very own chocolate bake shop. And honestly, we are blown away. But one of your bake shops transported us to a chocolate nirvana. Renu, wow. You've clearly found your medium in chocolate because that showpiece was truly a work of art. Thank you. Casey, you reinterpreted your first dish with a clever balance of texture and a delightful harmony of chocolate and strawberry. With every dish in your chocolate bake shop, you're able to remind us that food is fun. Thank you. T, we know you're the king of macaron and you used them to build a delectable castle. We loved the ruby chocolate ganache, and we believe that baking suits you to a T. <laughs> <laughs> Altogether, this is the most epic thing I've done ever in five hours in the history of my entire life. I did it beautifully, and I represented myself. 
There is nothing that I would change about my final bake. I feel like a winner because I made a chocolate sculpture that was about 20 inches tall. I am represented on my entire bake shop display. That I'm a little bit messy, I'm colorful, and I'm creative. You have all baked your hearts out, but the great chocolate showdown champion and winner of the $50,000 grand prize is... Casey. Congratulations! Oh, my God. oh I just can't believe that they called my name. I just won. <laughs> I think the last time I was this excited was when I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> I've never been more proud of myself and just happier that I did this and I stuck with it. It was hard sometimes. It was so hard. But I did it. I won $50,000. <laughs> Congratulations. Now I can actually open a little home bakery business, especially with all the new skills and techniques I've learned here. And I'm just gonna keep learning. I'm never done learning. <laughs> Casey knocked it out of the park. Everybody did amazing. We've spent some intense time together and these are our lifetime friendships. Hi. <laughs> Casey, you are incredible and I'm so happy for you. And now it, I finally know that I'm a good baker. That's huge. That is forever. Yeah, it's incredible. I can't even believe it. Even though I won, I know there's still so much more I could do. My chocolate possibilities are endless. I am the great chocolate showdown champion. <laughs>
Dice los hechos.